Now here's how to identify if you do have noise or not, but actually the easiest way to figure out if you have noise is to simply look at the ISO rating. The higher the ISO, the more noise you have. Now, let's go from left to right, and this image here was shot at 100 ISO, and it's very, very clean. The one shot at 1600 ISO is beginning to show a pattern of what looks like little colored specks on your image, like a coating of fine sand on a piece of paper. And then we jump still higher to 3200 ISO, and you can see pretty readily, I think, uh, the pattern of little colored grains, little colored specks on your image. Now, just to demonstrate an extreme example, let's go all the way to 10,000 ISO, and we can see an overwhelming presence of these little colored dots, these little specks on your image. And so you can see the higher the ISO, the more noise you're going to have, and the worst it's going to degrade your image. So, as we always say, shoot at 100 ISO as much as you can. Now, here's another thing to keep in mind. As we get brighter in the image, the noise begins to be less evident. Now, it's still there. You just can't see it. So, in these areas right here, now this is completely blown out. So these areas right here, you can see that the noise is not as evident as it is in the dark areas of your image. So this is something that we'll repeat uh, over and over in our tutorials. But when you're in the field shooting and you're forced to use a high ISO, expose for a brighter result than you might normally do. And I think you'll have a better uh, experience with higher ISO settings. What is digital noise in digital photography? Well, it's a very easy concept to understand, so let's dive in. But now, to help us in understanding what's going on in your camera, let's use the theory as it applies to something we're all familiar with, and that is AM radio. And please understand, this is a grossly oversimplified explanation of the basic theory of how noise in an electrical circuit is generated. Now, let's start with a copper wire and electricity flowing through it. Now, when electricity flows through a metal object, a secondary reaction occurs. The friction of that flow, also called resistance, creates a field of electromagnetic energy. This energy can also be called radio waves. Now, sometimes radio waves are a good thing, such as with AM radios. Huge amounts of power are directed through a broadcast antenna with an underlying audio signal superimposed upon it that we all know as an AM radio. Now, of course, the more power, the larger the electromagnetic field, or signal as it is called. Now, for instance, WLW Radio in Cincinnati, Ohio, broadcasts with 50,000 watts of power, which covers most of the upper Midwest of the United States. Conversely, poor little WDAO at 1,000 watts barely covers the city limits of Dayton, Ohio. So, the more power, the more electromagnetic energy created. Now, have you ever noticed that when there is no audio coming out of an AM radio, you hear static? Well, this is the noise that occurs within your AM radio when that electromagnetic field has no audio superimposed upon it. Well, the very same thing occurs in digital photography, albeit with hugely reduced current flows and voltages. But the concepts are the same. As the light hits the sensor, an electrical current is generated, which flows through a copper wire generating, you guessed it, noise. Now this is an unwanted electromagnetic field that interferes with or superimposes itself onto the light signal from the sensor. And that's really all there is to it. Again, in very, very basic terms. When you turn up the volume on your radio, the static becomes louder. Turning up the volume on your radio is the exact same thing as boosting the ISO in your camera. You're turning up the volume on the light in exactly the same way as turning up the volume of the sound on your radio. And in both cases, increasing the volume increases the level of noise, or in the case of sound, the static that you hear. 
Now, wrestling with this conundrum of physics is the bane of camera engineers the world over. There are myriad filters, sophisticated electronic circuits, shielding designs, all designed to reduce the resistance or the unwanted static or noise that continues to this day.